So that's a one of three uh, homemade wind socks that I have on the property. I find them handy especially now because the uh, wind direction indication on my uh, Vantage Pro weather station hasn't been working now for some time. Right now it's showing a northerly wind direction exactly from the west. It tends to stick on north uh, most of the time. At any rate, I'll have to work on that sometime in the future. It's 2022 right now, so I'm uh, going to show you shortly some uh, video I did on evaluating the accuracy of the anemometer uh, four years ago. But right now I want to show you the present day setup out on the tower. Here's the anemometer right there. It's about 75 feet away from uh, this location. I have a camera on the tower as well, right there. That's the weather station. The tower's hinged so I can get at everything uh, easily. So like I said, I'm showing in this video some work I did in uh, checking the accuracy and the communications uh, capability in terms of distance for the anemometer. This is the uh, anemometer here that came with the uh, uh, Weather Wizard and uh, this is the one that uh, I've had installed for seven years and it came with the uh, Vantage uh, Pro 2 uh, unit. So I've taken my uh, Vantage Pro 2 weather station down. It's been uh, up on the tower for seven uh, years, untouched. The uh, weatherproofing uh, in the mechanism seems to be uh, pretty well perfect. A little bit of uh, mildew around the seals, but uh, it doesn't appear as if any moisture got inside of the uh, uh, unit. The little uh, foam plug does the job in keeping the uh, moisture and the bugs and so on out. I've taken the uh, temperature humidity uh, unit away from the, uh, the main uh, part of the uh, weather station because the temperature and humidity is intermittent in operation during the last year, actually, uh, I believe. What happens is the temperature and humidity will read fine, maybe for several weeks at a time, and then, then it will go just blank like this right here. And then without any kind of intervention, it will come back on. And this seems to happen without regard to uh, weather conditions and so on, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. I took a look at the sensor right here. Shield. I did have this shield off earlier just to take a look, but the shield and everything is clean. There's no accumulation there or anything, so I need to find out why the uh, display is intermittent like that and uh, get working on that. But more importantly for me uh, is uh, wind speed. The wind speed has in recent months have been inaccurate. Uh, at times the anemometer cups are spinning 
madly and uh, I'm getting a very low or a zero reading uh, on the uh, wind speed uh, display. So that's my uh, most important consideration uh, with regards to the, the weather station. So what I did there a while ago, and, I, and it'll be on uh, this video, I uh, set up a, a test unit for my pickup truck where I have the Vantage Pro 2 and the Weather Wizard uh, unit with two separate anemometer cups. The original one that came with this uh, seven years ago and a separate uh, anemometer that came with this display uh, that I purchased within the last year. I wanted to compare the two systems under control conditions to see uh, what was going on with respect mainly uh, with this unit right here. So with the setup uh, I had, uh, this is what I did. I set up four circumstances. First of all I had the Vantage Pro anemometer connected to the Vantage Pro display and I with the pickup with the units mounted on the pickup truck I got these results right here. I had one of those rare situations around here where the wind was basically calm and as you can see the truck speed and the displayed speed in this case on the Vantage Pro display and the Vantage Pro anemometer they coincide quite well. The first one's a little bit off. The second test, I had the uh, weather uh, wizard anemometer and the weather wizard display. This is the weather wizard right here and the display anemometer came with that. And I got pretty well the same results here. Truck speed, displayed speed, um, all coinciding very, very closely. And finally, I did the, uh, hooked up the weather wizard anemometer to the Vantage Pro display and once again excellent results. The Vantage Pro is a wireless unit so I had the uh, the rest of the unit in the truck with me as a wireless connection to the display and that worked just fine. For the uh, Weather Wizard uh, that's a wired connection so I connected that uh, through the cable to the anemometer. I had total, absolute, no problem with both setups. So my question now is why was I getting poor results regarding the wind speed uh, with the uh, Davis uh, Vantage Pro 2 uh, when it was installed on the tower? Of course the obvious question is what, was it a uh, because of the wireless unit, was it a connection and communications problem? When I brought the unit in after seven years without a battery change, the, uh, the original battery uh, measured 2.86 volts under load while it was installed here. So I replaced that with a new uh, lithium battery and uh, uh, there's no change, for example, in the reading for the temperature and humidity that's still blank so wind speed is a primary interest to me because I do some uh, wind turbine experiments and uh, having a good reasonably good and accurate reliable wind speed indication is uh, very important. The uh, pickup uh, truck uh, experiments uh, showed pretty clearly that the uh, wind speed from both of the anemometers uh, was accurate, certainly accurate enough for my requirements. What I'm doing now, I want to uh, run a distance test for the uh, Vantage Pro wireless unit. Uh, and to do that, I've reconnected the anemometer uh, to the uh, weather station. And I'm going to take <clears throat> the uh, display uh, and walk a distance away from the uh, weather station. So I have a, uh, a fan 
right here. And I'm going to turn that on now. This should give a fairly good airflow. Still getting a good reading. So I'm about uh, almost 200 feet away from the uh, weather station transmitter. And the uh, wind speed is uh, working fine. I'll continue on. So I'm about 300 feet, 300 from the uh, transmitter and uh, still working good. When I set this up back in the, on, on the tower, I'll only be about 75 feet away from the, uh, between the two units. So it looks good. So right now I'm quite pleased with this. Next I have to get the temperature and humidity uh, working again. Weather Wizard, which is the lower one right here, to the uh, display, the uh, Vantage Pro 2 uh, is wirelessly connected to the display, so that should be okay. The spring for the uh, furling control has uh, separated or broken and the uh, windmill has gone into self-protect mode with uh, maximum furling uh, occurring at the moment. There's also a noticeable uh, vibration uh, going on, the tower is shaking. We've had some pretty high winds today, so uh, it's a good test. Interesting how long the uh, turbine would survive with will survive with that 